All right, so we're doing a long division for a polynomial. This is a really a frustrating part for a lot of students. It doesn't have to be hard if we have a system go about it. Okay, so what we're going to do is teach you the system today, 2x plus y here. Okay, so first thing you do is you check how many seats you need. You need the 1 and 2. Okay, it's one term and two terms. And then you go over here and you copy exactly the same two. Okay, then you save the space and you save the chair for your favorite aunt. Uh, in a Thanksgiving dinner. So what you do is you poke a hole here through the roof and put a chimney here. And then what you're going to put into the chimney is whatever this thing multiply the leading term got to match this one. Okay, kind of pretending you are, you're doing the muscle um, competition over here. Here's the muscle. And you're going to compete this one. So what's going to go in there is a 3x. Because on the side, let's take a look, 3x times 2x plus y that gives you 6x squared plus 6xy, the 3xy. Okay, so the, the term I really concern is my leading term. Each time you just take care of the leading term and then everything else works out. So this is plus 3xy. Okay, now here comes the little tricky part, and then it's a little on the messy side. You need to subtract the top one to this one, the entire thing. Now if we write it outside, on the side, let's take a look. If I write a 6x squared minus xy minus 6x squared plus 3xy here, okay, you know what to do, right? You're going to open up this one. You're going to do minus 6x squared and distribute the minus sign minus 3xy. And you're going to combine this 6x goes away. And this becomes minus 4xy. Okay, so what you're going to do exactly the same thing here. You're going to say 6x squared minus 6x squared. This is a 0. Okay, this term goes away. And then be careful with here. You're going to say minus xy minus a plus 3xy, just like what we did over here. So it's minus xy minus plus 3xy. When you combine this, that's equal to minus 4xy. Okay, and then this term comes down, minus 2y squared. All right. And the next term here, we're going to poke a hole here. We're going to put a chimney there. Okay. Our job now is going to look for the leading term to match this one. Since I have a 2x over here, I need a minus, so minus uh, 2y to give me the minus 4xy. Let's check it on the side. Let's push it up a little bit. Let's check on the side. So minus 2y times 2x plus y. I should have my leading term of minus 4xy minus 2y squared. Okay, so let's put it back there. Minus 4xy minus 2y squared. Okay. Once again, we're subtracting over here. So it helps if you put the parenthesis over there. If at the earlier part, it helps you to just write it one more side, one more time on the side, do that. Okay, so it's minus 4xy minus 2y squared. So I'm copying this chunk. Okay. And then I'm going to subtract minus 4xy minus 2y squared. As you can see, those terms are identical. You're going to get a big zero. So going back to over here, you do not have any remainder. Okay, so the answer when you divide those two is 6x squared. Uh, let's try again. Put it back over here so you can see it. 6x squared minus xy minus 2y squared. If you divide this by y plus 2x, your answer is 3x plus minus 2y. Okay, if you want to simplify one more step, it's 3x minus 2y. Here's your answer. If you want to check your answer, what you can do is do a 3x minus 2y, multiply it to y plus 2x, by property of division and multiplication, you should have 6x squared minus xy minus 2y squared back. All right? Have a confident day.